everyone this is me delicious diva coming to you today um, I am actually doing homemade chicken pot pies today for a dinner that I am selling people are purchasing the homemade chicken pot pies so I have everything prepped ready to go and with the pot pies they are also getting uh, pumpkin pumpkin loaf I'm sorry with cream cheese well with buttercream frosting and it's all homemade and also they are getting a piece of black bottom cake that was their choice they get to choose what it is that they want when I do my dinners wanted to talk just a little bit more about me I am uh, a big kid who a big kid who never grew out of loving glitter so when you see me you'll probably always see like something sparkly because that's just who I am as well as I normally always cook in heels because I have worn them for so long and when I try to wear you know bare feet or flats my feet kills I have a hair salon and you will always see probably different hairstyles whether it's mine whether it's not mine it's still mine if I'm wearing it and if you would like to see my journey of um, doing hair you can go to IG and my name is Trix Divine that's T-R-I-X D-V-I-N-E and you'll be able to see what I do at my hair salon. So what I do is I always incorporate uh, pot cream of potato soup inside of my chicken pot pies because I like potatoes in my pot pies. Not sure if that's how they always came or not because I just made up my own recipe. But what I do is go and purchase rotisserie chicken because why reinvent the wheel? It's already done, it's flavored, it tastes great, and they're inexpensive. So I just get um, rotisserie chicken from my nearest club store and debone it. And also, here is my cream of potato soup that I make. And what happened with me making my own cream of potato soup was one day I was making um, pie pies and ran out of the cans of cream of potato soup. So I, you know, just thought, oh man, I really need to make some. And once I made them, my family was like, please always make your own cream of potato soup. We love it so much better. So from now on, that's what I do when I'm making my homemade chicken pot pies is also incorporate my homemade cream of potato soup. So here we're going to head over here where all that's going on right now is me um, getting the celery and the onions and the base for my chicken pie pies um, done. So once these are softened, I'm going to add the rest of the vegetables to it and begin building up my pot for my pot pies. Actually, I'm going to go on and put these carrots in there right now because they need to soften also. Sometimes I actually do use uh, fresh ingredients and chop them up myself, but because I'm doing such a large number of pie pies for the dinners that I'm selling, there's absolutely no way I was doing all that chopping. So this will get soft and then we will be right back so that I can show you the rest of how I make my homemade chicken pie pies. Thank you. Okay, so I have finished um, fixing my base, well, the chicken pie pie itself, except it's not in the crust. So what I did was, uh, of course, I um, softened the celery, the onions, and the carrots. And after that was done, I added in a whole large can of broth. Unfortunately, I can't tell you my measurements because, like I said, I'm doing dinners and I've sold a dozen pie pies today, so this is an extremely large batch. Um, but I added the, the, the broke down chicken into it, uh, peas, a little bit of corn, the carrots, some llamas, and then of course my, um, my potato soup. Stir that all together. The herbs that I used was dill, a little bit of rock salt, black pepper, 
Um, poultry seasoning, you definitely want to do that because the scent of my house right now is divine. And um, I also added in some baby peas, sweet peas, and just started it all together, get it done. Um, I poured in a little teeny bit more of half and half that I used to make my potato soup. I also ran out of broth, so I had to make my own broth. And this is just simply hot boiling water and bouillon cubes. So I just added that all in, stirred together. I did have to put a little bit of thickening in it, which was some hot broth and some flour was together because it was just a little bit too soupy. And although you, you don't want your, your broth to be very wet and soupy, but at the same time you don't want it dry, <clears throat> the crust in the the crust is going to soak up some of the liquid so you don't want it dry but you definitely don't want it soggy so now what I'm someone told me that I didn't taste it so what I'm going to do now is taste this and make sure that it's perfect okay I just kind of pour and I can just kind of tell when everything sees it right so hopefully I'm not wrong this time on film. Okay, here we go. Ouch, it's hot. This is really good. So I'm gonna put this in the Popeyes and I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the people who purchased from me today. I really appreciate all the support and you will be very well pleased. Also, I do add a little bit of the rotisserie skin in there because it's just good. And when I'm doing it for my family, I put a little bit of um, some of the bones in there just because when I'm eating, I love to participate with my food and find a bone and have to suck it. It's just delicious like that. So this is where I am actually going to cheat a little bit because for all of these Popeyes, there's absolutely no way I'm making all that crust. I'm just not going to do it. So what I do is get prepared crust, let it soften, and you just want to poke a couple holes in it. And these are deep dish These are deep dish shells. Okay, that's nice and loaded. So, the steam from that, I'm gonna show you this little trick. The steam from that will actually melt this one over top. And then I'm gonna do an egg wash, take off the excess and create something, maybe a leaf or something onto here just to make it pretty. So I'll be back in a couple of seconds just to make sure that this has melted on there properly so that it falls together nicely. Oh, maybe we can get that on film. One second, let me see. Nope, not quite ready yet. We'll be back in a few. Okay, so what I've done so far is put the Popeyes, of course you saw that with the shell. And all I did was go around the outer edge and just push down and take off the excess. Once I got all the excess off, I rolled it into a ball and then just put it on this mat and rolled it out. Got it, you know, flat. Just going to freehand make a uh, make a leaf. And just make another one smaller. Make another one. And put a little bit of slits in there. Okay, so. I'll just lay this on. It's not my best work, but hey. 
um, okay, so this is just the egg yolk. I'm sorry, egg white and just a swish of water. I'm just gonna brush this on very gently. This crust is really soft, but this does give you an incredible, incredible shine. That'll be fine. And pop this into a prepared 350 degree oven. It goes for about maybe 40 minutes or so. And I'll just check on that. And you take that out once the crust is golden brown. And we'll be back to show you how the finished product looks while I get the rest of these pies in the oven for delivery. See you in a second. Here are my desserts. Um, this right here is my pumpkin loaf with my cream cheese frosting. It's really, really delicious. And unfortunately, I got some chocolate pieces over there. And this is my prize black bottom cake. Everyone who has ever had this cake always asks for this cake over and over again. So whenever you get a dinner from me, I always give two choices of a dessert. And today it's pumpkin loaf with my homemade buttercream frosting or the black bottom cake. And some people ask for both. So anyway, thank you so much for subscribing and for tuning in to view my videos. I'm looking forward to a very long and happy relationship. And if you would like in the comments, please let me know if there's anything that you would like to see me do next. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Delicious Diva.